Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Well, um, unexpected event today. <laughs> I made this. <laughs> it's just off cuts of upholstery fabric. Um, and I have made it about 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters, which happens to be the same size as one of these um, woven paper panels that I make. Um, yeah, I just thought, how about using one of these sandwich between a fabric cover and just some um, brown paper on the inside. So that's what I decided to do. So this is um, what I'm about to do now is, uh, yeah, sew these together. Um, and then I will back them with brown paper. And let them dry for a bit while I make um, some pages for a signature and we will make a soft colour journal and yeah I think it will be quite successful <laughs> but I really like this panel it's really quite interesting Okay, here it is. It's all sewn together. Well, the fabric cover and the panel are sewn together. Um, I have cross hatched across and up and down the whole panel and uh, that will hold it nice and secure. Now, um, this probably won't remain as just one panel. I think I'll probably make two journal covers out of this, but um, yeah, this is the start <laughs> of our journey. So uh, what I will do now is glue some brown paper onto the back, pop it under my mat, and we will look into pages.
<laughs> okay, well, that was unexpected. As I was um, tucking that under the mat, I found these two small journal covers. Um, <laughs> yeah, these are just uh, old um, boxes from tablets and... I had clearly covered them with the view to making journal covers out of them, but um, popped them onto my mat and forgot they were there. So um, <laughs> I will line the insides of these and pop them back under the mat with uh, <laughs> with the uh, panel and, uh, yeah, let them do their thing. And eventually I'll get around to making little journals out of them. So, yeah, just a tiny segue into a different project. <laughs> Right, here is a bundle of pages that will make up a signature. Um, there are 20 of these in total. I, you've seen me make these before, very recently, for smaller um, soft cover journals. And this one's already half completed, so I am just going to um, stick some paper down on the other side of the pages and they will all be ready to go. So. Um, I will speed this up so that you can watch me do a couple of pages in case you have not seen my previous video where I did these um, and then I will just cut out a lot of it because yeah you can't watch me um, glue bits of paper to other bits of paper for an hour <laughs> which is probably close to what it's going to take me so <laughs> I'll um I'll spare you that.
Okay, that is our journal cover cut to size and sewn around. So, yeah, I think it's looking quite cool. Um, now, it's just um, slightly taller than the signature that we have just finished making. Um, I am going to just use the three hole pamphlet stitch to sew it straight into the cover. Um, and the cover will just wrap around very simply like so and just be tied down with a just a tie around it so um yeah i will get on with that little job and essentially we're done i mean how easy is that really so anyway i will get this sewn in and find something to um use as a closure Well, that, that's her. <laughs> that's her basically complete. Um, all I have to do now is um, find something to use as a closure and we're done. So um, I'll just nip off and hunt for something and I'll be right back. And what I found was this very nice rusty piece of um, linen of some description. Um, yeah it was out of my last batch of rust dyeing and was just laying in a basket next to me so i think it looks quite effective <laughs> anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this um i certainly did it was a lot of fun to make um i think it looks really cool um yeah thanks so much for being here it's always great to craft with you guys along and um i'll see you again next time <laughs> bye